What does it mean to live in a crowded or busy city? One approach to defining a crowded city is to imagine oneself lost in a sea of people at any given time of day. A bustling city is also defined by its population size, extensive infrastructures, active transportation networks, and commercial buildings. According to the CIA World Factbook, the Philippines had a population of 86.2 million 10 years ago and has since grown to more than 100 million people. People are the future of every country, and a growing population equals greater success for industries and businesses. The problem, though, is the country's population concentration. Almost all of these people choose to embrace urbanization by settling in cities throughout the country, which leads to crime and social control difficulties. A busy city is characterized by traffic, noise, pollution, insufficient public transportation vehicles, and a large population. If you are a Filipino, then you've probably heard of all of these. So keep watching to find out if you live in a crowded metropolis. Check out the top 10 leading cities in the Philippines by economic expansion. Top 10. Cebu City Cebu City is the country's first capital, with a population of almost a million people. Cebu Metropolis, located in the Visayas area of the Philippines, is the country's second most populated city. With a land area of 315 square kilometers, this so-called Queen Metropolis of the South is the country's fifth busiest city. Cebu has witnessed fast economic growth during the 1990s owing to its advantageous location near islands and beaches, as well as its accessibility to tourists. Due to the ITBPO brands that invaded the city last year, it was ranked as the 8th best BPO destination in the globe. Furthermore, multinational hotel chains and large mall operators have established themselves in the city, increasing the confidence of more condominiums and hypermarkets in Cebu. With this, you will always see people out and about in the city, experience traffic in the metropolis, and even packed night markets. Top 9. Pasig City Pasig used to be entirely residential and industrial, but it is gradually transitioning towards the commercial sector. Pasig is home to the Ortigas Center, one of the country's premier business centers. Another commercial area along Ortigas Avenue extension is the Front of Verde, which is home to CCF and the well-known Tindesitas. This city is also a well-known gourmet destination, particularly in Capitalio, where a plethora of restaurants and hole-in-the-walls line the streets. Transportation is provided throughout the city, however, because Ortigas Avenue is one of the country's main thoroughfares. It is often clogged with cars, especially during rush hour. Top 8. Valenzuela City The vibrant city, formerly a sleepy provincial town during the colonial era, is now regarded as one of the country's most livable towns as well as one of the most popular residential, cultural, and business destinations. Because of the two major highways that go through it, the MacArthur Highway and the North Luzon Expressway, Valenzuela is also known as the Northern Gateway to Metropolitan Manila. Because of its proximity to the cities of Manila, Quezon, and Caloacan, this formerly picturesque village has been converted into a bustling, highly urbanized city. Small and large-scale industries such as food products, metals, plastics, and textiles thrive in the area, contributing to the town's rapid economic expansion. The city's ongoing physical expansion gave it additional renown and money, earning it the title of economic miracle of the decade. This industrial expansion also provided a plentiful supply of work for the rising labor force, thereby improving the citizens' economic standing. Top 7. Cagayan de Oro City Cagayan de Oro is a first-class, highly urbanized city in northern Mindanao. It is the capital of the Mizami's Oriental Province, where it is geographically located, but is administratively autonomous of the provincial administration. It has a population of 728,402 people, according to the 2020 census. 
The metropolis has become increasingly crowded and sprawling in recent decades. This development has resulted in traffic congestion as the number of private vehicles has increased, as well as limited access to basic amenities. CAG Indo Oro's economy is mostly focused on industry, commerce, trade, service, and tourism. The city's growth has resulted in an increase in demand for safe and affordable housing for its expanding population. Top 6. Makati City Despite having a population of only about 500,000 people and an area of 21.57 square kilometers, Makati is one of the top 10 busiest cities in the Philippines. Makati City is home to most professionals and visitors alike, as it is the center of trade and has several business districts and enterprises, such as hotels, BPO industries, bars, and condominiums. With 7,200 people per square mile, you will see the crowded streets of Makati throughout the day and significant traffic along its avenues between 7 to 8 p.m. during the weekdays. The population of Makati is estimated to quadruple to almost a million people due to people who commute to work, shop, dine, and play in the city's central business district. In terms of local sources, the city of Makati is regarded as the richest local government. It is worth noting that Makati is home to nearly 62,000 businesses including 1,159 BPO businesses. There are also numerous condominiums in the region, where inhabitants have full access to malls, sports facilities, and even their offices. As a result, given the convenience that a condo community provides, an increasing number of individuals are drawn into the city and residing in Makati. Top 5. Muntinlupa Muntinlupa is recognized for housing the country's most dangerous criminals in the National Insular Penitentiary, the new Bielbid Prison, as well as Ayala Alabang Village, one of the country's largest and most costly residential communities where many of the wealthy and famous live. Muntinlupa is one of the fastest developing industrial cities not only in Metro Manila, but also in the Philippines. It is located on the southeastern borders of Metro Manila and has a population of over 500,000 people. Muntinlupa City has progressed from a sleepy agricultural and fishing hamlet to an industrialized city, and it is now on the map of economic destinations in the Philippines. Top 4. Davao City Davao City with a population of about 1.4 million people, lacks large buildings and skyscrapers, yet is densely populated. This wealthy city on the island of Mindanao is known for its low crime rate, curfew for children, and 24-hour emergency system. It provides the most authentic taste of modern cosmopolitan living in the midst of a metropolis of garden and forest resorts. It should be noted that Davao City has been smoke-free for more than 10 years. Dado appears to have a lot of potentials to become an economic powerhouse, ranking 87th among the world's fastest growing cities in 2011. Dado is also home to the Davo Light and Power Company, the country's third largest electric provider. Davo is the financial, commercial, and commerce center for Mindanao. It is the largest producer of mangoes, pomelos, bananas, coconut products, and mangosteens in the world. This city is predicted to become the next BPO center in the Philippines, with 20,000 to 21,000 full-time employees working in more than 20 large, medium, and small BPO organizations. Top 3. Pasay City Pasay City comes third on the list, with a population of 392,869 and an area of 13.97 square kilometers. Pasay City, one of Metro Manila's four original cities, embraced development during American rule. Pasay City is home to the hangars of the Philippines' biggest airlines, including Philippine Airlines, Cebu Pacific, Zest Air, and others. Pasay is also well known for its tourist attractions and entertainment hotspots along Roas Boulevard, the SM Mall of Asia, the Philippines' second-largest mall is also located in Pasay. 
The cultural center of the Philippines complex contains a number of attractions, including the Philippine International Convention Center, or PICC, World Trade Center Metro Manila, Manila Film Center, Panayat Astrodome, Alio Theater, and Star City. Pase is swarming with condominiums and properties near business districts, such as other condos, to accommodate the number of tourists who visit each day. Top 2. Manila The current capital of the Philippines and one of the densest cities in the world, with 43,079 people per square kilometer, Manila ranks second among the busiest cities in the Philippines. Manila has a population of almost 2 million people and is considered the country's second largest city. Despite its location in the Pacific Typhoon Zone and a high crime rate, Manila retains its population. Manila is often regarded as the economic heart and soul of the Philippines. The city is home to the country's major financial, transportation, tourism, real estate, legal services, theater, and artistic institutions. Manila is the largest seaport, making it the country's principal international shipping gateway. The Philippines has the world's largest Chinatown. Binondo, as it is colloquially known, is primarily populated by Chinese and Filipinos. Binondo is crowded with Chinese food lovers during the day, giving you a sense of the hectic streets of Manila. Divisoria, the top shopping center in the metro, is also located in Manila. Thousands of people crowd the streets throughout the Christmas season in a hunt for a bargain or cheaper alternatives. Due to the city's huge size, numerous condominiums and townhouses have been developed in various regions of the city. This city is also a well-known shopping destination and is regarded as one of the best in Asia. Furthermore, travelers come to Manila for its monuments, such as Luneta Park and Intramuros, as well as the Malate Red Light District. Our top one, Quezon City. With a population of about 3 million people, Quezon City is the most populous city in the country. It is also the busiest city in the Philippines. There are 16,084 inhabitants per square kilometer in this heavily populated city. It is the largest city in Metro Manila and the location of the majority of government offices. During the early 1980s, Cubao was considered the country's commercial heart with most shopping malls, including the infamous Smart Araneta Center. Furthermore, the city is home to the Philippines' major broadcasting networks, including GMA Network, ABS-CBN, RPN, IBC, UNTV, and Net25. In addition, Quezon City is a foodie's dream, with restaurants and pubs in Tomas Morado, Timog Avenue, and Majinhawa Street in UP Diliman. Eastwood, another commercial hub in Quezon City, contains both commercial buildings and residential complexes. Recently, various commercial centers have sprung up, such as the UP Techno Hub and the Eaton Centris, which includes retail companies as well as BPO companies. Quezon City also has several transportation systems, including the LRT-1 and the MRT-2. There you have it. I hope you enjoyed and gained knowledge from this video. Thank you. <laughs>